Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our children's Bible stories, The Sacred Steps of Jesus. We are in our sacred space here, the sacred space of Clinton Avenue Reformed Church, Bergenfield, New Jersey, a great place to pray, a great place to worship, a magnificent place to hear what God requires of us. Today, oh, I forgot to introduce myself. If you, have, if you don't know me yet, I'm Pastor Mark of Clinton Avenue Reformed Church. Today, I want to talk about sheep. I bet a lot of you have seen sheep at a petting zoo. You probably petted them. You probably fed them. And you all notice they spell. I bet some of you have nice wool sweaters that came from the wool of a sheep. They're very nice and warm in the cold weather. Well, what Jesus said to us is, if you're my sheep, if you know me and I know you, well, you'll follow me. You'll do as I say. Now, how do you know if you really are one of Christ's sheep? How do you know if you're one of those special people that Jesus knows you and watches out for you and nurtures you? How do you know that? Some people ask me, how do I know if I really am good enough to be Jesus' sheep? Well, none of us are good enough. Being Jesus' sheep is something Jesus calls us to be, chooses us, even if we're not good enough. But let's talk about sheep a little bit. Here we go. You ready to see sheep? These are a bunch of sheep. I took this picture in Israel. This was outside the town of Bethlehem. Yes, the real Bethlehem where Jesus was born. This man on the right, he is a shepherd. I know he doesn't look like the Bible stories of shepherds. This man is a shepherd now. He's not a shepherd from 2,000 years ago. Clothing changes. Well, these sheep belong to him. Now, I didn't get my camera out in time, but when these sheep here were coming to this area to graze, the shepherd walked first. And he was making a noise, like a whoo, whoo, whoo noise. And all the sheep followed along. Because they knew the shepherd. They followed his voice. So, I got another picture. And then we'll talk about how do we know if we are really Jesus sheep. See all these sheep? And they're all kind of together. Not exactly in the same spot, but kind of together. Well, all of these sheep listen to that shepherd's voice. And he knows them. They know him. So how do we know if we are really Jesus' sheep? How do we know that? I can prove it to you that you are if you're asking that question. If you're asking the question, how do I know I'm one of Jesus' sheep? Well, in reality, Jesus is calling to you, or you wouldn't even know enough to answer that question. And I remember years ago, my daughter was starting high school, and I went to an orientation class. And one of the kids in the orientation asked the person who was telling us all about high school, this one kid asked, do you like give detentions? Do you have yellow card system? Do you have red card system here? And the person doing the orientation said, well, if you're asking me that question, I doubt you'll ever get a detention. 
because you're thinking about it. You're thinking about how to behave. So you probably won't behave badly. Well, if you're asking the question, am I really part of Jesus? I bet you are part of Jesus. You've heard his voice. Remember the shepherd made his special call and all the sheep followed? Well, Jesus is calling a lot of you to be part of his sheep flock. Without that voice, you wouldn't even be asking the question, am I part of Jesus? Because you are asking that question. I bet you are part of Jesus. And all that's left for you to do and me to do is say, okay, Jesus, I'm part of your family. I'm part of your flock. What would you like me to do? How do I please you today? And as a reward for that, we will get Jesus' protection, Jesus' peace. And you know, someday we will live with Jesus forever in heaven. So, fellow sheep, let's listen to the sound of Jesus' voice today, tomorrow, this week, every day of our lives. We're Jesus' sheep. Let's act like it. This is Pastor Mark from Clinton Avenue Reformed Church, Bergenfield, New Jersey, wishing you God's greatest blessings this week. Thanks for joining. Please come back next week. And until then, like, share, comment, that our audience might grow.